Hey, what is it guys? My name is Eric and welcome to a Steam tutorial uh, on how to unlock all the shamans in any game on Steam for free without even installing the game. Now, this is a good thing for the, those of you that want to kind of cheat your way through the achievement uh, showcase stuff. Like maybe there's a specific achievement you want to showcase that looks like really cool or you want 100% completion in a game maybe there's like an achievement that is actually unobtainable in a legitimate way there are games that have that or you just kind of, I don't know um, you want it for like games that actually uh, give free items for specific achievements uh, for example DF2 and the first clean floor those are the two games that I personally use this for just to get those items um, no shame in that <laughs> um, but yeah all you need for this is a small program called Sandpicker. It's been around since 2008, I believe, and I remember using it back in 2011 myself. All you need for this is to go into your browser and navigate yourself to this link here. This is a website. Uh, link will be in the description down below. And just kind of scroll down, don't worry about this stuff. Just press on download latest release and it will redirect you to another page and then just press on Steam Achievement Manager. You're gonna need WinRAR or 7-Zip, but you know, those are really easy to get. Everyone should have those by now. Even if you're on Mac, there are like unroaring and unzipping uh, programs for Mac as well. Not sure if WinRAR works for Mac. It should, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you need this. And from there on, you can just uh, drop all the files into a folder like I have here. Uh, launch this one with the pink Steam icon, very nice. And it's gonna go through your library. Uh, it's basically using the account that you're logged in with uh, at the current moment. And you don't even need to have the games installed. Like I don't, I don't, I've never played this game. Probably have it because of the achievement um, or trading card. Sorry. Um, so you just press on it, double tap it, and from here you can basically lock either lock all achievements, uh, invert all achievements. Basically, if you have this enabled this is not enabled, this is enabled, and press invert, this is going to be unchecked, this is going to be checked, this is going to be unchecked, and stuff like that, see? Um, but yeah, basically, you choose the achievements you want, or you press this button to unlock all the achievements, and then uh, you just, I'm oh, sorry, this button to unlock all the achievements, and then you press commit changes, and it's going to do that, I'm going to do it live right now, I'm going to press commit changes, start one achievement, and you get all the uh, achievements that you selected. Now with this one, since it was a thousand wins, it already had like a hundred wins and whatever else before that. So it's gonna do the, all the progression for you. Uh, but the, like one thing with this is that if someone actually goes and checks the dates on uh, when you got the achievements, they're gonna know that you all got, you got them all like instantly uh, within the same time frame. So if that's a problem for you, you can do this like like five a day or something, however, however you wish to do it. But most people don't really care about that. I personally don't really care about that. I don't really care about my achievements that much. I just, as I said at the beginning, I used it on Team Fortress 2 and Killing Floor 1 to get some free items. Uh, Team Fortress 2 uh, gives you some items uh, like weapons and stuff that you can craft or trade. And then in Killing Floor 1, you could get some costumes, I believe it was the chicken costume. Uh, I don't think you can get anything for Killing Floor 2 though. But that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If it was helpful, if you enjoyed this, please click, up, uh, please click that like button down below as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or some questions for the future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.